yeah. still some 50 this morning, so nice to give that air conditioner a break, huh? It certainly is, but I'm not sure if I'm ready I know. for this type of air mask. I hear you. We're, uh, it's kind of like, all right, we like a little taste, but we don't need the whole thing. And we have some humidity for you, Patrick, tomorrow. So there we go. Summer makes a return. Newport Bridge this morning, showing that this building is still pretty nice, showing that our humidity is still low. Temperature 59 in Smithfield, 56 in Taunton, 59 in Bedford. Low 60s from Westerly into Newport. We're 65 right now out there on the vineyard. Our weather station in Cumberland showing 59 refreshing degrees and in Smithfield we're sitting comfortably in the upper 50s. So our dew points are still fairly low for southern New England, mid 50s, a low 60 there in Westerly. These will start to increase later today into tonight. I would not describe today as a humid day, but a tad more humid by this evening. You'll start to notice that humidity increasing. Winds are calm from Newport into Westerly. We're at seven miles an hour in Providence, five miles an hour from the southwest in Smithfield. These winds will also be picking up at around five to 15 during the afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised we get some gusts of around 20 or 25 along the south coast today. So high pressure dominating today, still clear and quiet, but notice we have some showers lurking to the north. But what I'm actually watching is this energy which is approaching the Great Lakes. This will be part of that system which moves through tomorrow, bringing in some showers and thunderstorms. So let's talk about that. Late tonight through tomorrow morning, we have increase in clouds, which ordinarily we wouldn't care too much about the clouds. But of course, tonight is the peak viewing for the Perseid meteor shower. So that's not a great thing to see would be the approaching clouds. You may get some views here or there, but certainly not a mostly clear sky to enjoy the view late tonight through tomorrow morning. But there's still a possibility you could see some of those shooting stars. Now let's talk weather tomorrow. 3, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's when the best chance of showers and thunderstorms would be. I can't rule out a sprinkle or two Tuesday morning, but I do think the better chance would be Tuesday afternoon. And there may be the potential, the potential of some localized street flooding. We'll keep you updated on that. And then tomorrow evening through tomorrow night, scattered showers and thunderstorms continue. It doesn't mean rain the whole night, but the potential of some downpours will be there. And then most of this should be out of here by early Wednesday morning. 4 or 5 o'clock, there could certainly be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around, but I'm thinking most of Wednesday morning and all of Wednesday afternoon will be rain free. Temperatures today in the low 80s, noontime around 82 degrees. We'll call it mostly sunny early afternoon and then increasing clouds late afternoon through the evening. Temperature around 85 degrees, so that's several degrees warmer compared to what we saw yesterday. And along the south coast with those breezes turning from the west southwest, we'll be in the upper 70s for Westerly, Newport, Jamestown, on into New Bedford. Not a bad day to head down to the beach, but do be aware there is a moderate risk of rip currents today. Highs right around 79 degrees with mostly sunny skies. On the water, gusts do pick up this afternoon at around 25 miles an hour out of the west southwest. Waves around 2 to 3 feet. High tide on the way, 623 this morning. Low tide. 1142 this morning and this evening we'll see those increase in clouds with temperatures falling into the low 70s. So tonight through tomorrow morning, not as refreshing as we've had the past several evenings. Seven day forecast brings in the showers and storms on Tuesday, Wednesday looking OK. A few showers possible on Thursday and we'll have to keep an eye on some potentially unsettled weather this weekend. I'm going to leave the forecast dry for now. You can always get an updated forecast over on our website at WPRI.com. Here now is Melissa with a look at traffic. Hey, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Well, your highways this morning, very quiet if you're commuting along 